What's going on everyone? It is Tyler. I want to come here today. Um, I know my last video I posted, uh, a lot of people have messaged me. I um, want to learn, learn a little bit more about LPT um, and kind of what they have to offer. Um, I know, as y'all know, in the last video, we, uh, our company just made the switch over to LPT after six years of EXP. Um, so in this video, um, I wanted to break down the comparisons between LPT and EXP on what we've seen. Um, I know in the last video, I kind of just gave a brief ex explanation on EXP versus LPT. Uh, so this one I really want to break down and tell y'all, um, you know, as many differences as I know uh, between the two brokerages. And I'm going to try to do, do it as unbiased as possible. Um, there is good things about EXP. There's also good things about LPT. Um, so I want to do it, like I said, completely unbiased as I can. I'm not bashing either company. Uh, so stay tuned in this video. I'm going to compare the two between the two brokerages that we just switched from. <music> Okay, so kind of rolling into it. Um, the first thing is obviously um, the biggest thing, the models. Um, so EXP has one model that you can choose from and it is an 80-20 split um, with a $16,000 cap. And with that, on that $16,000 cap, if you do hit ICON, um, which is hitting the $16,000 cap and selling 20 plus transactions after that, um, you will be an ICON agent. And what that means is once you hit ICON, at that point you can get your $16,000 cap back in shares of stock. Now with that, uh, you do have to go to a few conferences, um, one in Orlando and one in um, Las Vegas, EXPCon and shareholders. And uh, you also have to do one other uh, mentorship type of thing um, to get that full $16,000 back. Um, now with LPT, um, they also have an 80-20 model, uh, but that one has a $15,000 cap. And both of these models um, are the ref share models. So you do generate ref share off both of them. Now with the um, LPT model at the 80-20 with a $15,000 cap, um, you do not get that $15,000 back in stock, but what happens is um, LPT has something called Black Badge, which is very similar to, um, to ICON. And so once you sell 35 core transactions, um, you will qualify for Black Badge. And what that means is they will take that $15,000 back in your cap and they will give it to you in marketing material. Um, so you will plan a meeting with them and go over what, what you want your $15,000 in towards marketing material for yourself. Um, so whether that is signs, um, whether that is advertisement, whatever it is, um, you get to kind of spend it your way um, as long as it is through the LPT shop and you will get all 15,000 of that back. So one of the key differences between LPT and EXP is the models. Um, now, as I said earlier, you know, EXP does have the one model that is 80-20 um, with a $16,000 cap. LPT does have the 80-20 model as well um, with a $15,000 cap, but they also have a $500 model as well that you can join. So um, that is one of the greatest things that kind of enticed us to come is that you get to pick what model you want to come on. Um, with EXP, you didn't. It was one model, here you go, this is it. This is what you have to do. Um, and so for agents that did not want to go out and attract agents or did not want to recruit and generate ref share, you know, it almost in a sense was kind of pointless, you know, to come at that route. With this, with LPT, you have the option to generate ref share on one model if you want to, or if you just want to sell houses, they have a flat fee model, which is $500 a transaction until you close 10 houses, a $5,000 cap, um, and you're on 100% at that point. Um, so you can switch back and forth between the models once a year. So if you want to come on the $500 model, you don't really know if you want to attract agents, you know, you just want to sell houses, you can do that for your whole first year and stay your whole first year. You do get 5, 10, 15 people that reach out to you, want to learn more about LPT. You can sign them up into your downline on the $500 model. And after your capping period, you can at that point switch to the 80-20 model and start generating ref share off them. Um, so that is something that is really cool. It is the first ever brokerage to offer a hybrid model where you get to pick what you want to join on. Um, so it suffices for both agents out there. You have the agents that just want to sell houses. You have the agents that just want to generate passive income and you have the agents that want to do both. Um, so the awesome thing about LPT and why it's so groundbreaking and taking off is because it gives the agents the choice to choose what they want to do with their career um, and how they want to grow their business. So that is one awesome thing. And one of the big differences between LPT and EXP is the hybrid model compared to the, just the one 80-20 model that EXP has to offer. The next thing um, in comparison to LPT and EXP is the stock, um, which in my opinion is one of the most important things, um, you know, due to us realtors not having access to 401k, having that stock there to give you uh, for retirement or for whatever you'd like to use is amazing. Um, and with EXP, um, you will get stock on your first closing. Um, and I believe when I left, it was 30 shares on your first closing of the year and 30 shares when you cap. 
Um, and that was it. That was, so you got 60 shares granted to you pretty much in a year's time span when you sell your first house of the capping period and when you cap. Um, with LPT, the big difference in that is since it's a new company and it's an early adopter benefit, how they run their stock is completely different. So they have something called a white badge and your white badge is one core transaction. So if you join on the business builder model, which is the $500 model, your first core transaction of the year, um, you will get 100 shares of stock. Now, if you join on the rep share model, um, you will get 140 shares of stock. So that's white badge. After white badge, you can then go to the next stage, which is your third core transaction. That core transaction will give you another 100 shares of stock on the $500 model and 140 shares of stock as well on the 80-20 model. Then you have your next stage, which is your 15th core transaction. On your 15th core transaction, you will get 1,000 shares of stock on the $500 model and you will get 1,400 shares of stock on the 80-20 model. Um, and then your final stage is your black badge that I was talking about. And with that, you don't qualify for black badge on the $500 model, um, but on the ref share model, that is 3,150 shares of stock um, in a year's time span. So you have the opportunity to generate around 5,000 shares a year if you join the 80-20 model, or you have the opportunity to get 1,200 shares of stock um, on the $500 model a year, which is absolutely crazy to me because I can look at that and say, Okay, I'm on the 80-20 model. You know, if I sell the houses I'm selling right now, um, which I've sold over 35 core transactions um, other than my first year in business every year, and so I will get 5,000 shares a year roughly. Um, every year I'm with this company until the stock IPOs, and then whatever happens from there happens from there. Um, but with EXP, in three years, with everything I did with the agent equity program, the stock's granted to me, I only got 900 shares of stock in three years, um, and I capped every year I was in it. So seeing just the draft difference that I can benefit from the stock is crazy to me. Um, knowing that we're thinking possibly a 2026, 2027, or maybe even later, or maybe even earlier IPO. We don't really know when it's going to IPO, um, but I can look at that and say I'm going to at least have probably 20,000 shares when it does IPO of free money. So if that IPO is at $10, you know, just saying, you know, compared to other real estate companies that have IPO and the way this business is growing, that's $200,000 in in free money that, that I've got gifted to me. Um, and that is amazing to look at and then no telling where the stock will go from there. So getting in early at LPT, you can benefit drastically off the stock um, and have great, great financial future with it. Um, and that's what happened with EXP when it was early on. A lot of people got in and they benefited a ton from the stock. Um, and we're thinking that exact same thing will happen with LPT. So the next thing is, is the fees. So we want to compare the fees between LPT and EXP. Um, with EXP, you had an $85 a month fee. Um, and that went towards your virtual world and stuff like that. With LPT, there was no monthly fee and no sign-up fee. Also with EXP, there was $150 sign-up fee as well. Um, so with LPT, you have no monthly fee and no sign-up fee. Um, the only fees you have with LPT, you do have a 195 transaction fee, uh, both pre and post cap, um, which most people, um, most agents pass that on to client as a transaction fee. Um, and then you do have a $500 annual fee that comes out of your first closing every year. And that covers your technology package and your errors and emissions insurance. And so that is a once a year fee um, out of your first closing, and that is completely it. Um, now with EXP, you do have a, if you're on a team, you do have a 150 cap fee. Um, if you are individual with EXP, you do have a 250 cap fee on every transaction after you cap. So um, the fees are kind of similar other than the, the monthly fee and the startup fee. Um, like I said, there is no monthly fee with LPT. So you do not pay this brokerage a single dollar until you sell a house. Um, and that is something really awesome, especially for a slow market like we had last year. Um, you don't know a lot of agents were paying a lot of monthly fees and just couldn't catch up. So with having this model with LPT, where no matter what model you join, whether it's the $500 model, the business builder, or the ref share model, you do not pay any monthly fees and you do not pay any startup fees. Um, so that is something that's really awesome compared to EXP having an $85 a month fee every single month. So kind of rolling into the marketing material that you get from both companies and the packages that you get. So with EXP, um, I know EXP offers you KV Core as well as Skyslope. Um, kind of very similar to LPT. LPT offers you uh, Chime or Lofty as well as Dotloop. Um, so you still have access to both of those no matter what company you come to. I know they're both completely different, um, both CRMs and, and management systems, but um, you do have Chime, Lofty, um, which is now, now Lofty, and Dotloop as well with LPT. Um, but the big difference in the marketing is the listing power tools box. And that is something that really sold us on the company as well, is that every listing that you get, um, you will get a 150 plus pieces of marketing material sent to your house within seven business days. Um, I've ordered three of them already. They both came in in three days. So uh, they come from Florida, um, but it is completely free. All you have to do is pay for the shipping, which for me, it's about $20 here in Louisiana uh, to get it shipped here. And with that box, 
it is a pers it's personalized for that exact listing. So it has business cards for that listing on it. It has sign writers for that listing. It has postcards. It has mailers. Um, it has thank you cards. It has door hangers. Um, it has pamphlets, and inside that pamphlet, it will show the demographics of the area. So it'll show these school systems, it'll show the restaurants in the area, um, maps around the area of what's closest. So that is a big separator. EXP does not have anything even similar to that. And I think that is huge for our listing appointment, especially in this 2024 market that we think we're going to get in. It could be fairly similar through 2021, um, not interest rate wise, but with the low inventory that we have right now, and if interest rates continue to drop in 24, we do see that it's probably gonna be a competitive market again. And in that, this box separates you from other agents out there on listing appointments. So if you're competing with four other realtors on a listing appointment and you show up with this listing power tools box, you know, for your original appointment, and you show them, hey, look, Mr. And Ms. Smith, this is how I'm going to advertise your property. You know, when we go on the, con I mean, when we list your house on the market, I'm going to get this box in and I'm going to go door to door in your neighborhood and I'm going to put door hangers out. You know, I'm going to go to local restaurants and hand out, you know, these foldable business cards that have your house on them. Um, and that is just a huge separator uh, from other realtors that don't have access to do that. Um, so that is really, and Listing Power Tools, Robert Palmer, who owns the company, Listing Power Tools was, that's what they were before they were a real estate company. They sold these power boxes to agents um, to use to brand themselves and market um, for buyers and sellers as well. So um, when he came to this company, he created the company saying, hey, look, you know, why don't I just take these boxes and I give them to realtors, you know, with LPT for free instead of selling them to other agents. Um, so it is a big separator for us to have that you know, for our clients to show them all the different ways we're going to be able to market their property outside of open houses and signs out in the front yard and MLS and Zillow and all these websites. So that is a massive difference between EXP and LPT is that we get that completely free every single listing. Um, the only thing you have to do is, like I said, pay for the shipping, which for me in Louisiana, it's uh, right around $20. Um, and the package is fully customizable. You can change the colors on it. You can add and subtract whatever you want to put in the box as well. So that is something that's really fantastic about LPT as well. And really last but not least, um, the difference between LPT and EXP on this next topic is brand awareness. Um, so with LPT, you get to brand yourself more than you do with traditional brokerages. Um, all LPT really cares about is that you have them somewhere in your branding and your marketing or whatever, um, but you can completely brand yourself, and which it should be like that. I think every broker should, should have that, that system. For us as agents, you know, we're 1099 contractors. We should be able to brand ourselves instead of branding a real estate company, and I firmly believe in that. Obviously, I completely believe in I should still have my real estate company on all my advertisement and stuff, um, but I shouldn't just have a giant logo on my real estate company and then my name small. I don't believe in that. I think I should be able to brand myself as a realtor and also brand my, my team and my brokerage as well. So that is something that is, is kind of different between EXP and LPT is that you have that option to brand yourself more than you did with EXP um, and being able to push your name out there and create your own logos and stuff. Um, and being able to just get your name out there more than you would with other traditional companies instead of branding themselves. So um, that is kind of the a few of the differences that I've seen between EXP and LPT. Um, as I said, we 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 haven't we just made a month here, so we're still learning, um, still growing, growing very fast. Uh, we just opened five more states last week, so we're now open in 25 states um, with over 7,000 agents in less than two years. Um, so it is the growth is insane and it is amazing, and I think we're going to take off from here. So if anyone is interested in learning more about LPT or how LPT compares to maybe their companies, the Keller Williams or Remax or whatever it is, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to sit down, have a phone call with you or have a Zoom call or sit in person and just go over the differences and see if it makes sense for you because it doesn't make sense for everybody. Um, but as I am, I love learning about companies. I love learning about different brokerages. Um, so I would love to sit down and talk to you about your company, what y'all have to offer and see if this can help grow your business in a way that you've never seen before. So um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to it and I'll have more content soon. Talk to y'all later.